the will of the people. Now, what we should do is the people who are into politics, galvanize your community and start talking reckless up and, and saying what you're going to do. Put them in office and the day after they are elected, you need to be somewhere in your municipality saying, hey, we voted yesterday. What y'all got for me? See, we stayed at the uh, inauguration party with Obama. Yeah, we got black president. You know, the little boy on the boom. Not my, I'm president by the Lambo. We out here boogie. Meanwhile, the Latino and the gay community out there begging, telling, professing, we need you gone. We put you in. We take you out. Black folks, we need to get on that. We need to get on that. And you know what we need to be doing right now? We need to. We are. We need to already have decided. We getting rid of Trump, right? We need to be looking for the replacement for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris if they don't get down. We need to already be looking for that. Then we need to be looking for the midterm people. The Senate, the House of Representatives, a uh, homeboy who sounded the turd off the cartoon, Mitch McConnell. We need to be getting rid of them in two years. This is a 10-year process. If you got kids, if you got grandkids, if you got younger cousins, nieces, nephews, younger brothers, siblings whatever you got younger relatives or people you care about that's a little younger you need to be engaged at a minimum for the next 10 years see we let our kids bling out we, we blinged our kids out in the 90s shout out to the people who was born in my generation generation x you suck i'm part of that you suck and of the baby boomers and gen x you suck we blinged our kids out we made our kids believe it was cool now we got to grab hold to our younger people and let them know you in a fight and you lose it. We got to give them the Angelo Dundee, uh, uh, Tommy Hearns, Sugar Ray Lemon, Tommy Hearns, 14th round. Kids, you losing and you got to knock this dude out. And we got to be fighting for the knockout for the next 10 years. This ain't about Kamala and, and Joe. This ain't about Uncle Joe and Kamala. This is about getting it cracking and moving forward, y'all. That's what it's about. I'm sorry. If you think it's about Kamala and Uncle Joe, you have officially missed the boat. You have officially missed the boat. It has nothing to do with either one of them. Nothing. This is about us. We have to be smart in election season. We need to we need to assign certain people in our family and our community to go to some of these community activist meetings. Somebody need to be there every time. They need to get to know you. They need to know your face and know that you represent at least your block. The people on the north and the south side of the street or the east and the west side of the street, depending on which direction your block goes. You need to be seen and heard. You need to start asking for things every single solitary day. The alderman, the state rep, the, uh, uh, the state senator, the United States senator, the house of anybody who, go, who needs your vote. They need to be able to say, just like Mr. White, the Secretary of State of Illinois, when he see me, Brian, how you doing? Everybody who's elected need to be like, Brian, how you doing? Period. They need to be saying your name almost. Uh, either that, or they need to be rolling their eyes when they see you, because here this mother, okay, come again. I'm telling y'all, this is what it is. This is what it is. Now, so Sister Kamala Harris is black then. If Kamala Harris ain't black, Malcolm X ain't black. His mama was from the same country as uh, 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 Kamala Harris' dad. If she ain't black, Farrakhan ain't black. Farrakhan Caribbean. So Farrakhan ain't black. If Kamala Harris ain't black, Marcus Garvey ain't black. Y'all ain't willing to challenge none of those people, right? So why the hell y'all ch challenging the sister Kamala had? Why? What kind of foolishness is that? I dare one of y'all to uh, uh, challenge uh, the late great Kwame Ture. Y'all might know him as Stokely Carmichael. Y'all want y'all not challenging them? Uh, by the way, uh, sisters who proud of their history and know that they know their politics, Dorothy Chisholm. Uh, sister come from uh, uh she, she come from the Caribbean too. First black woman ever run for her president, right? So why is Dorothy? Oh, because Kamala light skin, right? She got on the light skin side of the game, right? Malcolm X was a red brother too. But see, y'all not willing to challenge them. 
But y'all, now again, this goes to that Google search thing. She, look, but Obama, y'all look, y'all was saying Obama on black for a minute, but over, now he black though. He black in the back of your neck now. But y'all was saying Obama wasn't black enough. He went to Harvard. His wife went to Yale, I think, or Princeton, one of them, one of the two. They obviously educated. Kamala went to an HBCU. And if for those who challenging it, Kamala Harris, her dad was a, 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 on the board of directors at Chan, a, a, a Stanford, Ivy League University. So she chose to go to an HBCU when she could have had for free one of the better educations, one of the more respected educations in the world. She said, I'm going to HBCU. She went to hell. See, that's what I'm saying. See, ain't nobody looking into that though, right? She an AKA. She joined a, a, a sister fraternity. Oh man, that stuff. They just trying to be Greek. See, y'all, y'all always figure out how to kick your own self in the ass. I noticed that about our folks. We stay kicking ourselves in the ass. We do. We do. How many improve? What what is it that we want from America? A fair shot, reparations, to be treated right. We can get all that. But instead of saying what people don't have and what they're not gonna do, oh man, see, why don't you wake your ass up and do something? All this complaining ain't gonna get you nowhere. Oh, by the way, HR 40. Kamala Harris is back in that, huh? Cory Booker. I don't like Cory Booker, but eh, whatever. Who cares who I like? Really? Ain't nobody going around. Hey, man, what's up with H? What do H rap then? Said by nobody prominent in the history of the world. Ain't nobody saying that. But what, man, what, what, is, what is H rap think? Man, we gonna go? We gonna form policy around rap? Nope. That was said by no damn body. Not one person in the whole world is going around. Based on what they think on rap. So me not, not liking Cory Booker. That's some personal stuff. I think he punked out on this interview. And then he, he don't seem like the greatest guy anyway. But eh, that, that's neither here nor there. See? I fell into some sucky shit. Not liking the motherfucker. I don't even know. Cory Booker ain't thinking about rap. But at the end of the day. The people in North. The people in New York. The people in uh, wherever. Everybody. Whoever's well, a politician that you don't like, you need to make him not like you back by being in his face, asking for stuff, challenging him, holding his feet to the fire, doing all that stuff that is necessary in order to get what you want and need. And if you're not doing it, then again, you are part of the problem. You're not part of the solution. And if you don't know what HR 40 is, that's the bill signed for reparations for you. And you also gotta stop with this like the ADOS African Descendants of Slave oh you ain't you ain't supposed to get no money because you ain't from here you from the Caribbean where you think they was getting slaves uh, the people of uh, the Africans from they was bringing the Africans to Jamaica and Puerto Rico and places like that beating them into submission then bringing them over here and selling ain't nobody doing that oh man it's cool it, it, they didn't capture Africans and say, hey, uh, we got watermelon fried chicken in uh, South, South, South Carolina. It's cool over there. And then everybody left. No. You got beaten to submission. And then you were brought to the hill. If, if, you, if you didn't just submit sooner versus later, they took you back down to the Caribbean and took your ass to Louisiana, then took you to Alabama, then took you to Georgia, then took you to Mississippi then took you to uh, that Florida one part of to get down South America, North, North, South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, so forth and so on, Arkansas, Texas. That's what they was doing. So when you talking about this, this reparation thing is a thing. <laughs> this, reparation, <laughs> this reparation thing is a uh, is a it's a worldwide thing, man. It's an Af African diaspora thing. If you are part of an African diaspora, you deserve to be taken care of. They over there taking brothers and sisters out of Libya right now. See, that's the thing. You know why other countries and other cultures uh, uh, uh <laughs> you know why other cultures uh, somebody sent me a funny text. 
uh, 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 you know what other cultures get what they supposed to get because they connect with their homeland. See, Kamala, Kamala Harris, I keep calling her Kamala like she's a wrestler. Kamala Harris also identifies with the Indian part of her culture. She also uh, identifies with the African American part of her culture. But we, for whatever reason, our culture stops. Oh no, I ain't no African. You know, when we was young, I ain't no African booty scratcher, you you idiot. Yes, you are. Because they not African booty scratchers, but those are your cousins. You walk into a room with somebody who look exactly like you, the first thing you say is, like, perfect example, George Floyd and, and Stephen Stacks Jackson, they met through a mutual friend. You know what they said? You know what uh, Stephen Jackson said? He's the first thing he said to George Floyd. Who is your daddy? Because they said, you look too much like me not to be kidding me. It's one group of people that look a whole lot alike and we all over the damn world. And y'all don't, yeah, people in America, they don't, they don't want to do that. Kamala Harris, Kamala, Kamala Harris, huh, her mom, they, they, they connect with them Indian people over there. But you got people... Oh, who from the Caribbean? I, I'm not black. Yeah, let the police pull your black ass off. You're going to be black in the ace of spades. You're going to be black in the ace of spades. But you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that. Because you want to, you want, you even say nice words like plantation. What A plantation sound like a vacation spot. If you drive past one of them, they look beautiful. That's a death count. Your ancestors were, in, were, were were prisoners of war and put on a death camp. Let's just say it what it was. But we say nice things like plantation. We even refer African descendants of slave. Slave is a a a a a a a, 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 a description. It's not a person. Those are African. Forced into slavery on death camps. See, when you say it like that, hopefully when I say it like that, shout out to Dr. Greg Carr. When I say it like that, Karen Hunter, when I say it like that, hopefully it angers you. See, the sh- look, look, how far have you come in 157 years? If you quote Dr. Henry Clark, what we do is look at the fact that we, uh, our ancestors were brought over here in chains. And because we ain't in chains and getting beat, we think we've improved. But when you listen to people like Dr. Claude Anderson and find out in 1863 and May of 1863, when the Emancipation Proclamation was enforced and the Civil War had ended, you and people who look like you own one half of one percent of the wealth in the United States of America. Here, 157 years later. You own one half of 1% of the wealth in the United States of America. How about that? Zero. Oh, but we got mayors. But you don't own any. You're not a captain of industry. But we got governors. We got people who've been in the White House. But how does that help all of us? Oprah. We got Oprah. That don't help your black ass. That helps Oprah and the Winfrey's and Gail and Stedman. That don't help you. So stop quote again. We quoting people who don't mean us any good. They don't mean us any good. But you're happy quoting them. Because see they told us that we did better. We better. We we did better. We, we, we better than we used to be. We no longer get beat to sleep. Yeah, that's that's your that's your uh uh that's your litmus test that people just can't walk up and rape rape your woman and sell her down the street. That's that that makes life better for you. Now you outside your damn mind. Oh, my life is better because can't nobody just walk up to my sister and rape her when they feel like it. But they can they can shoot my brother though. Really, y'all, come on, man. Nothing has improved. If you don't believe me, just look at people like W.B. Du Bois. Uh, what's the sister name? I wrote her name down here. Find her name in a second. But look at the people who preceded us. 
uh, Zona Hurst.